Good morning. Weekend's upon us. So what else is there to do? Get out and take some photographs. I just feel I've been really struggling with my photography lately. Um, just really struggling to get the images. I don't know whether it's just because it's quiet or what, but you know, I find it hard to focus. Um, hard to just be patient and concentrate. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Um, just be a bit more patient. You know, just sit myself down in places again like I used to rather than just wander around aimlessly. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can see a few things. So, so we're just having a bit of a walk to places but then stopping for a bit and then just see what happens. Um, just as I came down, there's a little bridge down here I just came across uh, and very carefully approached the junction on the path as I came out. And as I looked to the to the left of me, um, I just saw the back end and, and the tail of a of a deer. Um, not even sure what sort of deer it was. Big white fluffy tail is all I can tell you. So, not sure whether it was a roe deer or or whether it was a, a monk jack or whatever. I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, so I did sort of. I was going to head in the other direction, but I sort of came up this way to see if I could see it anywhere, but just disappeared out of sight. So it's gone into the undergrowth somewhere, I guess, and just disappeared away. Um, we've got a, there's been a woodpecker flying around. I think it's down in the tree down the far end, a green woodpecker at the moment. So, um, and it's getting a little bit more active. You can tell there's more birds around now than there has been the last few months. Um, so hopefully, you know, that's going to help us out as well. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do this vlog over the weekend, so it'll probably be, you know, because it is still quiet, I think it'll probably be a two day vlog that I'll just put into into one vlog um, and just see what we can find. So I'm just going to stand here for a bit, just see if this deer reappears at all, and then maybe we'll just move on somewhere else um, and see what else we can find. These are pretty tough conditions today. Um, the light's not coming through much at all. Um, and it's it's really windy. I, I mean, standing in the field up there, just in the open, it was really blowing across there. So, uh, you know, you're not gonna be able to vlog in that sort of wind. So we come into a bit of a sheltered area just to uh, just to record a piece to camera for you. Um, but, uh, but what I've noticed is that um, the paths are getting quite open now. Um, you know, the, the, the foliage is starting to die down. Um, you can't quite see into the trees yet to see where the, the birds and things are, but, but the, some of the trees are actually turning into stunning colours. I mean, the, the oranges and, and the yellows. Um, 
yeah, really starting to turn now. So hopefully, hopefully the wind won't blow all those off too quick, and we won't get to see a, a, this, that beautiful autumnal colours. Um, and hopefully, you know, they'll stick around for a, for a week or so before all the leaves finally drop. But I think it's going to be pretty windy. So I think once they start to turn, they're going to drop pretty quick. The, the leaves are. Um, that's a wood pigeon just above me. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's much easier to walk around. The paths are a lot clearer now. Uh, a bit boggy in places uh, with all the rain we've had. Um, but as I say, it's it's tough conditions. Um, struggling to find anything at the moment. Sight of that deer first thing, but um, but not nothing else at the moment. But uh, we'll we'll keep trying. Keep having a a walk and a stand uh, and a, be patient. Um, and just see if anything does turn up. This tree I'm looking up into now is a real favourite of the green woodpecker. Um, I walked around this morning and, and I must have spooked the woodpeckers at least three times this morning. Uh, I didn't see them in the trees. Uh, they saw me first. And I've just come here and just done exactly the same. There's one up in the tree. as a camera in the corner. Um, you know, it, it hung around for a few seconds, bobbing between the branches, but uh, then shot off. I think what we'll do is, um, I think we'll probably come here tomorrow and just stake this area out. Um, so sort of just tucked in the bushes slightly here, so we're out of the way. Um, so hopefully that will give us enough cover uh, to keep out of sight of the woodpecker. Um, but I think I'm just going to come and stake out this tree and see if we can get some image of the green woodpecker, because they are really hard. Um, they do like to, to jump around. Um, and as soon as they see you, they're off, so uh, they are quite difficult. But, uh, but yeah, I think that might be a plan for tomorrow. So we've just got a green woodpecker up in the tree in front of us at the moment. Um, he's a bit distant. Uh, and at the moment we're walking towards the sun which is not great so we, we, you know it's, it's going to be quite dark with a backlight we're not quite where we want to be yet um, so uh, but yeah at least is there this is this is one I think as we walk down the track um, there was one on the track that I think as we came around the corner we spooked it and off it went um, then it was as I walked further up the track I think it must have been in the tree and it came out of the tree as I walked past uh, and now I think we're following it up, so I think it's now up in this tree up here. Um, but yeah, we're not where we want to be. We've not got the light in the right place for us at the moment, but at least we can see the woodpecker. That's a good start. So we'll carry on and see, uh, see whether we can get in a better position. So we got to the area where we were yesterday. Um, and just tucked ourselves away in the bushes now. The green woodpecker actually just came up into the tree we're watching. But it was behind the branches so I couldn't get a clear shot of it. Um, and I fired off a couple of shots and even with the cannon on silent shutter it's not that silent to be honest. So I think the issue was that as soon as it heard the shutter go it was, you know, looking around, and then it, it took off, unfortunately. Um, but we're just going to stay and wait and see if it comes back again. Um, I mean, the good thing is, while we're here, you know, we've got plenty of trees around here with berries and things on. There's quite a lot of other things flying around, um, goldfinches, uh, long-tailed tits, and all sorts of other bits. 
I can hear things at the back of me quite often as well. Um, so yeah, so there's plenty of stuff around, um, but we've just got to wait and play the waiting game for this green woodpecker and see if it comes back. I think what I might try and do next time it comes in is try and do some video first, because that will be silent before I try and get the images. Um, I guess this is where I could do with a mirrorless camera, because it just wouldn't hear a thing then. It's, it's so gorgeous here. I mean, it's it's just so quiet. There's there's not a, you know nothing around, no noises. All I can hear, and what what really you know really excites me is as I'm standing here behind me, I'll hear birds fluttering through the bushes because they're getting used to me being here now. So I'll actually hear them right behind me fluttering through the bushes, uh, and it's absolutely brilliant just to hear that coming through. Um, but yeah. Just need this green woodpecker to show again. So it's gone a bit quiet on us now. Um, had the woodpecker up in the tree the once, uh, but just not, not in the right place where we really wanted it. Um, it flew past another time, I think thought about landing, but didn't decided to carry on. Uh, I guess we've been here a couple of hours now. Um, and, and even the, the smaller birds have gone a bit quiet around us at the moment now, I guess, because it's, uh, it's moving on in the day. They're, they've sort of settled down a bit more, but uh, they're obviously not feeding as much as they do when it's when it's breeding season and, and earlier in the year. Um, yeah, we we'll go a bit longer and uh, just see if this woodpecker turns up for us. It looks like we've drawn a blank with the, uh, the woodpecker today. Um, gave it a good two and a half, nearly three hours, um, but really didn't get anything. Got a, got a half an image, uh, got some distance stuff, but nothing that we really wanted. So um, yeah, but that's where it goes. You know, um, I can't come out every weekend and get the shots I want, unfortunately. Uh, and to be honest, if I could, it would probably spoil the enjoyment because that's half of the battle is actually coming out and trying to get those shots that you really want. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to head off now. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Uh, appreciate it if you're new around here. If, you, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, and if you like the video, click a like on the button below. And I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye for now.